God bless you, everyone. Thank you for joining me this Wednesday. God bless you. Let us pray and get right into uh, what God has for us. Father, we thank you for this word. We bless you for everything that you have revealed to us up until this point. And Lord God, we thank you for everything. And we just give you praise and glory and honor for it. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. I know last week, I was talking about as far as um, how we need a preacher actually to uh, bring us the word of God, to teach us the word of God. And then I talked about faith too, uh, because without the preacher, it's, 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 uh, the word says that faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God. So faith, that's Romans ten seventeen, And then... Romans 10, 14, talking about how can they hear unless they be preached to, you know. So now what I want to talk about, one of the things that um, uh, also uh, blocks your faith is that our focus is off on some things. Now, let me just read this to you in 1 John 2. Fifteen. It says, <clears throat> love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father isn't in him. You see this? The love of the Father isn't in, in him. So, we can't get caught up in what's going on in this world. And I, I need y'all to hear me closely on this. You know, in, in, the, in the Word of God, it talks about in the end days, you're going to have rumors of wars, and then you're going to have all these trials and tribulations. You're going to have uh, everything, basically, that's going on. Men become lovers of themselves. I mean, all sorts of things that's manifesting within this world as we speak right now. You know, deception, all, all sorts of things that's going on. And what's going on in this world, God talks about this, you know, that we should not be focused on these things that's going on in this world. That should not be our focus. And then 16 says, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Now let's look at this. This right here is what stops and blocks your faith. Three things. The lust of the flesh, the lust of your eyes, and the pride of life. Is not of the Father, but is of the world. You see? So, there are the three main factors that stop or can hinder your faith from moving. Because your love for God isn't genuine, <clears throat> your love from that point becomes conditional. You see? And see, that means that, uh, you do it knowing that you're going to get something back or you, you're getting something back. You're not doing it because uh, you want to bless or be a blessing to someone. You're doing it because you're aiming to get something back. When I started preaching the word of God, my true goal is to deliver people. I'm not worrying about, cause I'm not worrying about nothing but making sure that you receive what God has given me to give you. Now, am I going to be perfect in doing this? Absolutely not. Am I going to be perfect in, in, in the things, the way things operate? No, I'm not. I, I got to be me. That's the only way God can use me for being myself. 
God is not looking for a robot. God is looking for somebody that loves him unwillingly and unconditionally. You see? But see, the thing is, in James it talks about us falling into diverse temptations. You see? So we need to, we really need to meditate and listen to the word of God to develop our faith, to build up strong barriers to protect us from falling into these three things that can stop our faith from manifesting. <coughs> Excuse me. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father. But it is of the world. And then it says in 17, and the world passes away and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abides forever. You see that? He that doeth the will of God abides forever, abides forever, abides forever. So when you are operating in faith, it makes marks that cannot be erased. Do y'all do y'all hear that? It makes marks that cannot be erased. So when we decide to move in, in uh, love and operate the way God wants us to operate, hallelujah. Now you, now, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Let's, let's, let's look at this for a minute. Now we're talking about the will of God, right? The will of God. What is the will of God? The will of God is for us to learn of him, you see. But it's up to God's job to reveal himself to us. It's not for us to decide, it's not for us to decide how God is going to do it. It's for us to decide whether we're going to receive it or not. You see, so when we decide that we became a Christian, when we ask God to forgive us of all our sins and, and, and ask God, you know, to come into our heart, you know, and, and, and uh, clean, uh, 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 creating us a new and clean heart, you know, that we may that we may love him. What we're asking God to do is to come against these three things. The flesh, the eyes, and the pride of life. The lust thereof, you see. So now, getting back to this faith thing. When we are pleasing God, we are doing the will of God. So, faith is the will of God. It, it, it gives God to represent himself through us. You see? It shows us and things that are around us how powerful faith can be. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> now, faith aggressively when when we Lord Jesus when when we fall in love with God when we meditate on the Word of God and we asking God uh, uh, to manifest this up through us what we are doing is we're we're actually operating aggressively to function in the spirit of faith you, see, you hear what I just said we're actually Asking, we actually are asking God to move us aggressively so we can function in the spirit of faith. You see, when, when we're moving in that vein, God will not deny himself. Because when we're operating in faith, God don't see us. He sees Jesus through us. Hallelujah. And we are manifesting the very thing God wants us to do here on this earth. So God will back it. God will, will uh, manifest it. So 
So what am I saying, folks? So what am I saying to you this evening? We need to stop trying to operate in faith on our own will. If there's something that we are believing God for, let's turn to Jude 2020. It's the last book before Revelation. Hallelujah. It says, but ye beloved, building up yourself on the most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. You see, praying in the Holy Ghost. So when we start praying to God, we start asking God mixed with the scripture. You see, meditating on the scripture, allowing, listening to the man and woman of God preach the word, hearing the word, hearing the word of God preach to you. When we start doing this, self, when we, I'm sorry, when we start doing this, uh, the word of the word of God talks about it keeps yourself in love of God. It keeps uh, keeps just uh, keep yourself in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ until eternal life. In other words, the very thing in your life that has been dead, that has been crucified. What you're doing is you're giving it the ability to resurrect. I've said this before. And see, the enemy, you know, the enemy job is to put you in a position of doubt, unbelief, fear, worry, anxiety, stress. You see? But God, you know, uh, will put you in perfect peace when you're operating in, in, in the love of God and you're operating in faith whatever you are desiring that God wants you to have or you want that, that God wants you to do whatever you are desiring within his will you it's going to come to pass folks I've been seeing miracles and things and, and wonders that's been happening in, in our lives it's just and the thing is here it is you know I've been slowing down. I haven't been so much in a hurry on things lately. I've just been taking my time. And so now my wife, she's doing the same thing. She's slowing down. And so we're getting ready to uh, launch some things within our business. And I just am in awe based on what I'm seeing God manifest through us. The favor that we have, the things that's opening up to us, where, <coughs> excuse me, I, where I seen certain things that I thought that I would never see. Well, see, faith, our faith is manifesting this thing. Not, not us, our faith is manifesting this thing. But the key is, is that we are in love with God. We are in love with God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Now, I'm going through all this because I, I, I want you to start seeing and to locate literally where you are. We need to get out of ourselves. And I said this before. Now, let me see if I can read this. Let's see where I, let me see where I seen this. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Let me see if it's the right scripture. Yeah, let's look at Hebrews 11. 1. Now, I'm reading this again. It says, now, faith is the substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. Let me read that again. It says, 
Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Then I say there's three things to faith. Faith doesn't work in your reach. Then it says faith functions in a divine vocabulary, which is the word of God. And then faith speaks beyond what you can see. Here it is again. It all wraps up in uh, 11. 1. And then it says, for, for by it, the elders attain a good report. So without faith, you can't even retain any kind of good report. The world is unable to give that to you. It's only by the faith that you have in God and, and, and what God can do can give you the, uh, the report that you, that you want to have. And it says, through faith, we understand that the words were framed by the word, the world, I'm sorry, was framed by the word of God. So that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith, and it talks about Abel offering up unto God a more excellent, excellent sacrifice. You can't even give to God unless you have the right faith. God is looking for you to believe in him so that he can manifest the things out of your life. Because you hear the word, it does not mean you are ready to operate in it. Let me say that again. Because you hear the word, it does not mean you're ready to operate in it. The word of God must, must deal with you first. Hallelujah. It must deal with you first. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Just give me a minute here. Hallelujah. Just give me one minute. Faith, let's turn to uh, Proverbs 14, 12. Amen. And then I'm going to get ready to close. It says, there is a way which seems right unto a man. But the end thereof are ways of death. Let's turn to James. You see that ways of death. Amen. Let's turn to James. Praise God. Hallelujah. James 4. It says, From whence come wars and, and fightings amongst you? Come they, not hence, even of your lust here we go that war that wars in your members you lust and you have not you kill and you desire to have and you cannot attain you fight and war yet you have not because you you ask that because you ask not you ask and receive not because you ask amiss that you may consume it upon your own lust. You see this? Now we, now we talked in John earlier about the three things that can hinder your faith. Lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. This is, can stop your faith. This is the fruit that follows those three things. When you're operating in this, uh, you are are not doing or you're not operating in the will of God. So the things that you be asking for uh, doesn't have, praise God, a divine purpose. What it has is a consumption. It is operating under a different, uh, a different governing rule. It's not operating under love. It's 
operating under selfishness. Well, basically, it's operating under lust. Now, listen. Four says, you adulteries and you adulteress. You know ye not that the friendship of this world is enemy, enemy with God. Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is an enemy of God. There it is again. Anything that you need, anything that you need to do, anything that needs to be done, we need to consult God. <clears throat> we need to allow the word of God to read us first, to get rid of all, to, to, to cut all this lust off our heart so we can operate in the love that God wants us to operate in. So the thing that we have won't control us that means we'll be able to control it. How? It's because we are we had divine backup that's constantly working with us to control the very thing that we have or that we're operating in or that we will, you know, uh, uh, um, use or whatever the case may be. So, in saying all this, I'm going to say to y'all, good evening. And bless you. And I, I want you to know that these teachings that I'm teaching on faith is to truly unlock your faith from being held up or caught up in that what the enemy has. It, it is also giving us the ability to expand our capacity to receive the things that God wants us to have. You see, it's not shutting us down, it's, it's opening us up. So as I'm bringing this to you, uh, the best way I know how to bring it to you from the Spirit of God, I just want you to understand that there's a process that we must go through in order to, to please God. And there's a process that we must go through in order to build our faith up in Jude 2020, building our faith up, you know. So look, folks, God bless you. I truly, truly, truly love you. And I wish uh, 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 the best for you always. So this is Pastor Robert Porter from New Life Christian Center Ministries. We will get more detail into this uh, next week. God bless you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.